Hey everybody, welcome to Afterwards for episode 8 of Threshold Relics of the Homeland. Oh man, this was, uh, this was an interesting episode. Uh, if you watched uh, Questions, Comments, and Concerns, you definitely know that we had a lot to talk about. Um, and this was a really... I, I learned a lot in this episode, especially as kind of a new DM. Just as far as motivating players and like... Steven had some insights for me that were really valuable. And also just, man, it, it was kind of nice to have like a, well, not nice, but it was interesting to have a session where everything didn't go exactly according to plan. And I had to actually, you know, try and adapt to things and stuff. Um, I'm sure we'll probably get comments from many of you and I'm getting comments from the players a lot. Just there's a lot of things that could have happened differently, that players could have done differently, that I certainly could have done differently. Uh, but I do actually think that the episode ended up in a really interesting place. Um, and I am not sure how the next one is going to go because of how, like, well, the party's kind of snapping back together since I did the brash thing of just stabbing the moon child. Um, <laughs> but, uh, eh, it's not, we're not that far off track, really. Um, in any case, yeah, it's uh, Lunarius's whole thing. I, Lunarius, that was my early name for him. Petra Lunam. Um, is, he's sort of, you know, he's, he's like not a good guy, but he also, he's sort of went over the edge. He's had some illicit dealings. He's, he's, a, he's a cleric who has been raised to be the leader of this church who hasn't received spells from his deity even though he's been raised from birth in a long dynasty, basically saying like, this is, this is you, you are, the, you are the representative for this religion. And then the God comes back and doesn't recognize him basically. And sort of what that would do to someone and, uh, and that kind of thing. And then he gets a chance to sort of talk to a representative of his God, but she's kind of childlike and doesn't give him the answers he has. And then he has Necrosaurus's sword, which is one of the fun things that he pillaged from the, huge amounts of, uh, of magic items that the churches have been recovering and the elven people have been recovering from the ruins. Um, I think he grabbed that from another, a, a secondary laboratory that had been looked at before this one. But uh, the sword does interesting stuff and he's got some fun stuff to do with those orbs. Uh, my big boss fight is next session, so I'll, I'll talk about that next time. But uh, I'm, I'm excited for that just because mechanically I think this boss fight is going to be kind of fun. Um, and yeah, I also, I, I, I reused my, my slavers a little bit. I, I know I talked about that uh, from my exploring episode. And I just, I thought it would be kind of interesting if, if Petra Lunem's, some of his illicit stuff and some of his inner circle were actually kind of like shady folk. Um, but I haven't really explored that as, as thoroughly as I could have, I suppose. <laughs> in any case, I had their stats written out, and I thought they would make good thugs, and um, I think they're actually pretty fun. They're sort of dispassionate. Uh, in a lot of ways, they're kind of a weird foil to the party, because they're also kind of in it for, like, they have their own agendas, but also they're just kind of hired for this job, and it's... It's interesting. It'll be interesting to see if the party's able to persuade them into not being as dispassionate as they are right now, like Fox started to do, because Zach has magic rolling fingers. And uh, <laughs> in any case, uh, thank you for watching. And this was this was fascinating. Um, don't worry about interparty conflict. We'll we're it's really not a big deal for us. Um, <laughs> but we are going to talk about that, and hopefully everybody will come back feeling good. And we'll, we'll uh, finish up Threshold and finish up this, uh, this stuff in the homeland. Thanks for watching, and I'll, uh, I'll see you next Monday. You know, um, if you're watching this, you're probably already subscribed, but please do check out our Patreon. We've got some awesome stuff in the pipeline for that starting next season. We can't wait to show you guys all of the improvements to the show that we're going to make thanks to you. Um, in any case, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next week.